Hey friends, you are with Kim Byers at The Celebration Shop and today we are going to make infusible ink t-shirts. So I have designed um, four happy birthday cut files for you and so make sure you hop down in the description below and grab those. We're going to jump into the Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you how to upload them and how to um, size them for your t-shirt and then we'll jump over to the craft table and get those going. But if you wanted to use these for vinyl or if you wanted to use iron-on instead of infusible ink, there's just a multitude of things that you can do with these cut files. So I hope you'll stick around and we can craft together. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space and I have uploaded all four of the designs. I'm gonna show you how you do that. Um, just so that we're kind of all on the same page, if you're a newbie to Cricut Design Space, um, if you are on your home page and you just select new and then you go down to upload and then you can upload an image so you browse your computer and you can use an SVG I use the SVG when I'm cutting I use the PNG when I'm going to print then cut so if we are doing a birthday girl so then I grab the SVG I open And it comes in um, I would put a tag on it birthday um, and so just hit save okay and so there is your file now if you did want to do a print then cut with this like if you were wanting to use this cut file for something else like a paper craft or something like that and you upload or even uh, printable vinyl that could be fun go to the PNG open it and so when you come in um, it's going to give you options so select the image type and this is a very simple um, image so we'll select simple continue let me make this a little bit smaller so we can see it at this stage if there was something um, you know with another file that you needed to tweak or erase something you could do that here um, but this one's good so we'll just hit continue and then it brings it in and it can either be this print then cut or just a simple cut image. Um, we're going to go print then cut. Oh, and we could have put a tag, birthday. Okay, so then whenever you, let's just pull them both in so you can see what they do. Okay, and I designed these very large, so you're going to um, want to go up, like really large. <laughs> you're gonna to wanna to go up into size and you know make them significantly smaller just so you can see them. Okay, so this is the birthday girl. See, print then cut, so it's gonna tell you that that's the one that is. And we're gonna hide that one. And then if we bring birthday girl up, and then this is cut in two pieces, so birthday and then girl. Um, and so if you wanted to ungroup them, you could do that and move girl away from birthday. Um, and this again is the SVG. And so if you just wanted to, you wanted the word girl for something else, or you wanted the word birthday for something else, um, you could, you know, eliminate one or the other. Um, and then just have the one element. For today's purpose though, I want to, let's see, I want to make this, we're going to go back in and grab that image again because I wanted it exactly as it was designed, the overlap, and I moved it around a little bit. So we will go into uploads, and I already had that uploaded. And by the way, if you upload multiples like that, go in and delete um, your extras just so there's no confusion. Okay, so let's grab these and bring them up so we can see them. Okay, so what I want to do, um, if this was iron-on, I would simply cut each one and layer them. Um, however, this is not iron-on, this is Cricut Infusible Ink, and because colors that overlap can form new colors, right? Um, I don't want these two elements to overlap one another. So I have birthday on top of girl. I'm just going to ungroup them and then we're going to actually slice out birthday from girl um, so that we're only getting the one element. 
but what we're going to need to do is bring girl to the front, bring it to the front, and then grab both elements, use the slice tool, and then we're going to take away that top piece. Okay, and then we're going to take the two slice results and we're going to weld them. Okay, so now girl, and I'm going to move this so you can see it and then we'll just do the undo. See? So they won't overlap. It's just going to be two pieces of a cut. Okay, so here we are on the craft table. So I thought we would start first by me showing you um, what supplies we're gonna use today. So I have the infusible ink t-shirt. I have two colors of infusible ink, although I may only use the one. I'm gonna pull them out and we'll make a choice then. Um, and then I have a clear ruler. I like to measure everything twice <laughs> just to make sure I have placement correct and the right sizing. I have my Cricut Maker. I have my Easy Press. Um, and by the way, Easy Press is the most efficient way to do Cricut infusible ink. I know some people have tried it with an iron and I'm not saying that it will not work, but the Easy Press will get up to 400 degrees consistently across the entire base and so you're going to have a much better result. And I do highly recommend that you do the entire um, design all at one time um, instead of doing them in pieces. Okay, and then I have um, my cutter. I love using um, this just because my straight edge allows me to save as much of my material as possible. And those of you who craft with me at all know that I love to save my materials. I'm a little bit of a hoarder of materials, saving them for the next project. And then of course I have my mat. Okay, so let's measure our t-shirt. Okay, so what we want to do is, depending on where you want the design to fall, you just want to measure that area and make sure that the design you have in Cricut Design Space is going to fit. So the top of my design will probably fall about here, so about 14 inches across, and then the bottom of the design is probably going to fall somewhere in here. Um, which is a full 18 across. So what we need to do is go back to Cricut Design Space and make sure that our um, art is going to fit within the space. And I would say probably no more than eight, eight and a half inches across um, on the t-shirt um, so that we're not getting over into these areas. So let's start out by cutting um, the eight and a half by two and a half inch. So this is the watercolor splash. This is the um, infusible ink that I chose. And it comes in these black bags because it is um, to protect it from sunlight. You don't want your infusible ink to fade. So when you pull it out, there are a couple things inside. There's a piece of material for you to test on. There is butcher block paper, um, and I'll show you how to use that in a few minutes. Basically, you're just protecting your pad and your easy press. So that's the pink. The lovely pink and then this is like the multicolor and that beautiful the multicolor um, and I think we'll use this for birthday and we'll probably use that piece across the top since we're gonna have a lot of pink in girl okay so we'll go ahead and cut out using our straight edge kind of fussy cut out the color that I want which is the blue and using, I love this cutter. So um, if you had a longer cut, this would, this <laughs> very much helps. But we only need this one to be two and a half. So we're actually gonna back it up a little bit. There's our two, there's our two and a half. And I always go just a little fraction over just in case. And then um, along the edge, I'm not sure if you can see this here, um, but you can use this ruler to say, okay, and I want it to be eight and a half. And then we cut, okay, we pop that out. And then I will use a pair of scissors just to cut this other piece. Since this is rolling, it makes it difficult to put it back in. But I wanted that good straight cut to save as much of my infusible ink as possible. Okay, so we can use the pink for girl, or do you think we ought to use like this sort of graduated pink in there, that might be really cool as well. So I think that cut was seven and a half by six and a half. 
Okay, so let's place our material on our mat. And I um, actually changed my mind and decided I wanted to go with a more blue or purple, as this turns out, um, for the happy. Okay, and so we just put that down face up. And let's take it to the maker. Okay, so I've cut this out and I meant birthday, <laughs> not happy, birthday in the blue. So I've cut this out, now what we wanna do is remove it from the mat. And to do that, you always want to turn your mat over and peel the mat from the material instead of the other way around. So bend the mat, not the material. Okay, and so once we get this off of the mat, then we're going to cut out the next. There we go. Then we'll cut out our next color. We'll place this on the mat. I think this is going to turn out really, really pretty. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here's our second cut. And again, you want to flip it over and take the material away from the mat so you don't crack the ink or anything. There we go. Okay, cool. So now the next step is for us to weed um, out the design. And so infusible ink is a little different from some products. So we're actually going to crack. So you can hear, we're gonna crack the pieces apart. Um, and for the most part, they pretty much just peel right off. So we're gonna do that the whole way around. Now remember, we sort of piece this together so there's some little elements up here in girl and just make sure that you don't pull those away when you're doing um, the rest of the material. And you know, I am a hoarder of materials, so I've told you guys this. So if you can see the cut, and I'm not sure if you guys can, but it's actually really easily visible here you can save that corner. You can save that piece of infusible ink for another project. There we go, okay. And we'll do the same to birthday and then we'll put it on the shirt. Okay, so I've gotten my t-shirt out and I have both of my um, elements and remember we um, cut um, these two so that they would not overlap so that the ink would not overlap on top of each other so what we need to do now is we need to trim this backer out as close as we possibly can to this so that we can lay it within the design what we want to do is we want to do the entire press at one time so we'll take a pair of scissors and then we're just going to trim in around these edges Try to get as close to that as possible. And then we're gonna do something different with these two little small elements up here. Now you also could have done this out of one color instead of what I did, you know, piecing the two. You could have done the whole design out of one color or as I showed you in Cricut Design Space, you could have moved the word girl down so that you didn't have to do this. I'm making it a little complicated just because I wanted it to layer, but I think it's gonna turn out really great. Okay, so I pieced the entire thing together. So I went ahead, I trimmed out all the way around this and this, um, and then I actually took the smaller pieces off and just put them where they needed to be. Make sure, if when you do this, just touch all of the infusible ink and make sure that you feel it on the top without a backer in front of it. Because if there is any of that plastic on the front side of it, since you overlapped them, then the ink is not going to go to the t-shirt. It's just gonna be on the back of the other piece of plastic, okay? So now once you have this all together, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we place it on our t-shirt in the right spot. So, okay. And make sure that you're measuring with this in mind, the top of the Y instead of just the bottom element of the Y so that you can make sure that you are getting um, the same distance across. Okay. So there we have it, birthday girl. So now what you wanna do, and I'll put the link to the guide down below, but you want to make sure that you have your um, easy press, the correct temperature for this type of t-shirt, which is their infusible ink shirts and the infusible ink. Okay, so the next step is you can take this 
tape. Now this is infusible ink tape specifically for this. If you use any other type of tape, the uh, tape, the stickiness could come off on the shirt and ruin it. So we're just gonna take one piece of tape because this is pretty, pretty well positioned and it's pretty sticky so it's not going anywhere. But we're gonna keep that in place. I also wanna take a piece of white cardstock and slip it on the inside of my t-shirt. And I probably should have done that before I placed it, but I didn't, so here we go. Stick it on the inside of our shirt just to make sure that there's no bleed. Okay. And then the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna put a piece of butcher block paper on top of our design. Okay, so now we have our easy press um, for Cricut Infusible Ink. It's 385 degrees for 40 seconds. Pick this up, and we're gonna place it down. Start, and we're not going to move it. If you move it, you could get what they call ghosting, which means that you could get a blurred ink, and we don't want that, right? We want it crisp and beautiful and bright. Okay, so now we're going to lift it straight up. Now, I wanted to point this out. You see how the temperature changed? Sometimes it does that when it gets onto the actual element. The temperature on the Easy Press might go down a touch just because obviously the shirt and the base of the Easy Press are two different temperatures. Don't worry about that. Okay, we're gonna take off the butcher block. This is kind of like dying an Easter egg. Like, I love it because you can start to see the raised um, of the design. Now, we want to peel this warm. We don't wanna peel it hot and we don't wanna peel it cold. We wanna peel it warm. And so right now it's still pretty hot, so we're gonna give it a second. But you can see how the ink is coming off on the shirt. Okay, we're gonna be very, oh my, look how beautiful that looks, guys. Oh. Ink, that's my tape. Oh my goodness, it turned out so great. And you can see that almost all of the ink is gone from the actual sheet. But doesn't that look like, I mean, there's very little left on there. And of course on this, there's nothing left. Look how vibrant it turned out. I am so excited about how pretty this is. Just imagine all the things you can do with the cuts and with these colors. And by the way, this one is, I think I told you guys before, this is watercolor splash. So. See how vibrant that is? And it comes out beautiful. Okay friends, so I hope you enjoyed making that t-shirt as much as I did. And I've linked down below the infusible ink products that we used today. I've also linked up the uh, cut files, so make sure you grab those. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and join me back here every week for new videos. I'll see you next time.